Hey it's Eli K Atlas and in today's video I'm going to be doing a little uh, tutorial on how to use the color white or how to color things white and I thought this would be useful because when I started out coloring I didn't really know how to use the color white and make it work in things but there's kind of a general consensus and a little bit of a secret rule that you don't ever really use pure white but my theory is kind of follows that but the idea is that you use white there's kind of three shades and three sides to make things look three-dimensional and use the color white in a way that makes sense so without further ado let's get into it uh, the first thing you'll do is color the top side of whatever it is with the highlight color which is going to be the brightest or purest white uh, that you are going to be using for the whole piece or whatever it is that you're coloring uh, in this case, the white I'm using isn't pure pure white, but it's pretty bright, but it has a little bit of a blue tint to it, so that it kind of follows the overall temperature of the piece. After that, you're going to color the underside or the shadow side, and since we're using the idea is that it's a very bright, very pure white, um, we're not going to use like a really dark shadow color. Instead, we're going to use a deeper color uh, like a sky blue which was pretty good to contrast the brightness of the white color so it acts as a shadow of sorts without actually being a shadow so the base color is actually what's going to end up being your shadow color so for the base color we're going to use a dark gray and then we'll use the bright white and then we'll use the blue as the shadow color and in this case it's a drawing of spider gwen so the whole outfit is white, which is why I decided to use this as an example. And I kind of got the idea to do this video on the fly. And it's a pretty simple idea, pretty simple technique. So I think you guys should be able to pick it up and uh, rock with it if uh, it's something that you guys like. And here I tried to soften some of the edges on some of the uh, colors, highlights and shadows and stuff. Uh, just to make it blend into the bright white a little smoother. So that's something that you can kind of adjust to taste in that case. You're using your base color again as kind of the shadow itself. And you're kind of making the shadow have a nice gradient with it by adding the blue color. And here I didn't want any of the colors to stand out too much so I played around with the contrast and the luminescence and stuff to make it a little more subtle uh, again I didn't want a pure white uh, I didn't want like shadows too dark I didn't want the white too bright so I messed around with the sliders until I could find a setting that I really liked and I think I actually did mess with it even past this video until I got it a certain way but yeah again that's something that you can adjust to taste so again in review let's look at the technique start with the base color start then continue with the highlight after that you do what I like to call the reflection color which is going to reflect the temperature the color whatever's around it so if it's a cool temperature she's surrounded by like Batgirl and Supergirl who both have blue outfits and to match the color scheme I used the sky blue for the reflection color on the white and um, you can kind of just either you don't want to go too crazy with the blurs I don't think in general um, I used to blur things a lot but it made things look very plasticky I was told so I've kind of trimmed that down on certain areas so there's kind of a lot of hard lines and stuff now when I color as you can see on Supergirl's body right next to her um, but it ends up looking pretty cool but anyway uh, for the color white if you don't want anything to stand out too much you can blur a little bit uh, otherwise you can pretty much leave it as is which I've done on several occasions with this technique so hopefully you guys got something out of this make sure you comment like subscribe and share uh, new videos every Friday and Monday uh, thank you guys for watching make sure you leave comments and questions if you have any in the comments below and I always get back to everyone hopefully you found the video useful Thank you for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. So